All right, and looks like the groups are ready to go over here. They're just getting, making sure their timer ready to go. And... Uh, well, they also are ready to duel some sages. Careful, don't get your elo faction down, guys. <laughs> uh, elo and Templar faction, those were the days. Yeah. And here we go, PvP fact, PvP trainer versus Crusade. Here we go. Battle of the Warlocks. All right, and in flies PvP trainer. They have sauced already. And look at this not dropped a speed warp. Look at the cool mount that Clopato's wearing. That's a mithril mount that you can buy from the MTX store, EA Origins. Mithril uh, is uh, can't remember the exact price right that, now. Uh, the necro is already down. The necro is already down. You're right. It's... PvP trainer is put. Putting some very good early damage into Croissade. Ooh, and they still haven't res that Necro. That's going to be an issue. That the healer issue. needs to... Yeah, that was very fast. If you look at the Warlock, is just free. And he is armor debuffing, and, and this is a problem. They're even going to try to bring down the Armsman, which they were almost successful uh, in doing. I have not seen the second Necro for their group. Am I missing something? I don't know if they Crusade was five. running two Necros. Yeah, I believe they might have had an LD or something. Yeah, I think that was only four. But again, the Immortal Glopato remaining at the end. Immortal Glopato, that's right. Yes, uh, Joel, can you provide a translation for that vice chat? Vice chat. Uh... They had an LD. Oh yes, here he is now, walking back. <laughs> he has he has French connection. All right. Well, unfortunate to have that LD at that moment, but regardless, they didn't manage to get a speed warp down. It probably would not have changed much of the fight at that point.